Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Today, alhamdulillah, it's been an amazing day here at Epic. We did not have just one, two, but we had, alhamdulillah, three shahadas taking place here at Epic. Earlier during, during the day, we had a brother who took the shahada, originally from India. Um, that shahada took place over Zoom. He did not want to have his shahada publicly recorded, so we wanted to honor his request. But nonetheless, uh, he started learning about Islam and he decided to convert to Islam. Alhamdulillah, uh, as you will see going forward, that there is two other people that took shahada. One, was, one of them was a sister. Uh, she had called me earlier on and she had decided and we made an appointment that we will meet uh, for Salat al-Isha and we will take care of the Shahada inshallah and she was so emotional about it she was so happy about it and then at the time of Salat al-Isha we had another brother that just showed up at our doors um, brother Jason Khalil and he also said that he won't take the Shahada so alhamdulillah today we've had three Shahadas Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh today subhanallah is such a special day today today I came to the masjid because I knew that there's going to be a Shahada but today we also have uh, Jason Khalil also came here to the doors of Epic and he also wanted to take Shahada. So today we have two Shahadas, Alhamdulillah, a gentleman and one of our sisters. So first of all, before we actually get into the process, uh, Jason, I want to quickly ask you, you can share with our viewers, what led you to Islam? So what led me to Islam was um, I was previously a Christian. I was not a good practicing Christian per se, but I started to wonder what was the meaning of life and why why am i here and i started to study about it and first i was reading the bible studying and looking into christianity and i started to realize things weren't making sense such as the trinity you know th these things they it doesn't make sense how can god be three but one so then i came across islam and i always knew about islam i knew i know in the media it's conveyed very poorly but it's actually a very i knew it was a very peaceful religion so I started studying about it and everything just made sense. And I was reading the Quran and I thought to myself, how can a man 1400 years ago in a desert come up with this beautiful book? So um, more and more as I was researching, I just knew Islam was the one true religion. So I wanted to come to it. And uh, of course, before you take the Shahada, you are aware of some of the basic tenets of faith and yes. the pillars of faith, um, you are aware of those? Yes, the five pillars, yes. yes. Okay. And I, have to, I do have to ask that, you know, your pronunciation of the word Islam in Qur'an, um, do you have any um, Middle Eastern ties or anything? Yes, so I actually, I am Middle Eastern, I'm Lebanese. I'm Lebanese. Okay, okay. And um, I know how to speak Arabic a little bit, okay. but it's not, my, my Arabic isn't very good, and I don't know how to read Arabic at all, so, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> but yeah. Okay, so having said that, um, let's go ahead and just let's do this. Take care. I mean, do the, go through the shahada process, and um, because of your Middle Eastern ties, I think the shahada is going to come very natural to you, inshallah. Mm -hmm. Inshallah. So uh, repeat after me: Ashhadu. Ashhadu. Allah ilaha. Allah ilaha. Illallah. Illallah. Wa ashhadu. Wa ashhadu. Anna. Anna. Muhammadan. Muhammadan. Rasulullah. Rasulullah. I bear witness. I bear witness. There is none worthy of worship. There is none worthy of worship. But Allah. But Allah. And I bear witness. And I bear witness. That Muhammad. That Muhammad is a final messenger of Allah. Is a final messenger of Allah. Takbir. Allah. Takbir. Allah. Takbir. Allah. Now I do have to say that uh, you know, first of all, is that all of us here we envy you. Why? Because out of all of us, you are the most. You are in the purest form right now. You are. Your slate is absolutely clean. And so you are in the purest form. So, you know, I want you to appreciate that moment. And this is a big day for you uh, in your life. And I want you to cherish this, inshallah. And I want you to realize that this family, the, the family, the growing family of Islam, is the fastest growing family in the world. And we welcome, with, we welcome you with open arms. Thank you. And, uh, and we're all here for you because at the end of the day, as the Quran mentioned, that we're all, this is, you know, a lot of brotherhood in Islam, of course. So we're all here for you, and I have to say, you know, um, my uh, one of my associates here, uh, he actually um, he's originally Lebanese, right? Oh, yes. oh really? <laughs> <laughs> yes. So you know, there's a famous uh, author, Jibran Khalil, Jibran, Jibran Khalil. You know, oh, my dad talks about him. Mm -hmm. He's a Christian Lebanese. <laughs> 
welcome to Islam, Ya Allah. Ask Allah Thank you. to keep you steadfast. Inshallah. His deen, inshallah. And make it a reason for others to come to this deen, inshallah. Inshallah. And uh, like the Shaykh said, uh, not only you're clean, Allah said in the Quran that, uh, Allah switches all the bad sins that you have done in the past. They are all switched into good deeds. So you are automatically better than all of us. Yes. <laughs> so we ask you to all yes. of us and for everybody who is watching this, inshallah. inshallah. And Thank you. Again, congratulations to you. Thank you. Thank you. So inshallah, having said that, we'll conclude this, inshallah. And, uh, we, will, and we also have the next shahada. Um, also ready, inshallah. We have a sister. I'll take that from you. Thank you. So, uh, this is the second shahada today, alhamdulillah. Once again, we're so blessed that even during COVID 19, we have two shahadas. Uh, Sister Jaleen actually sent an email and um, I reached out to her. And, you know, subhanAllah, yesterday I was on the phone with her. She was just so emotional because she said that when she came here to the mosque, she felt like a sense of sisterhood and so forth. And of course, this is what Islam is all about. So would you like to share some, anything extra with our viewers? Um, basically, I, I'm 22. Uh, I grew up without really any religion or faith um, until I, I met a couple of friends who followed Islam. I decided to um, look into it myself um, just because I never followed any faith. My parents never instilled any religion in me. Um, and I just, as I'm reading the Quran, and I and I just, it's 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 what I've been missing. It's like a missing puzzle piece that I've been having. And I, I just really, um, when I come here, I came here for Aisha last week, and Sister Farah like really welcomed me and treat me like I was her child, and that just reaffirmed to me that this is the real faith for me. And one last thing I wanted to tell you was um, on this day four months ago, it was February 29th. I was in a pretty bad car accident, like um, um, got in a rad wreck, and my car was totaled. I was a drunk driver, and I broke a couple bones, my nose, my wrist. Um, um, so, you know, I walked away with minor scratches, I guess, for the wreck that it was, mashallah. Um, so then I get a new car this month. It's a pre-owned car. And in the CD compartment is a verse of the Ayato Kursi. Oh, I was just wow. like, wow, wow. That, that, is, that just reaffirmed me even more. It just, I know that this is where I, I just feel a sense of belongingness and I just love how everybody's so welcoming to me. So, yeah. <laughs> so, subhanAllah, I mean, this is, this is a story that shows you really just the power of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that if Allah wants to guide, Allah will find ways to guide someone subhanAllah. So just like we did earlier, uh, you're going to repeat after me the shahada. So ashhadu. Ashhadu. Allah. Allah. Ilaha. Ilaha. Illallah. Illallah. Wa ashhadu. Wa ashhadu. Anna. Anna. Muhammadan. Muhammadan. Rasulullah. Rasulullah. I bear witness. I bear witness. There is none worthy of worship. There is none worthy of worship. But Allah. But Allah. And I bear witness. And I bear witness. That Muhammad. That Muhammad. Is the final messenger. Is the final messenger. Of Allah. Of Allah. Takbir. Takbir. Congratulations, sisters. Sister, you are now a Muslim, and um, this is also a very big day for you in your life. And I, you know, I do have to say that I'm very sorry that what happened to you in the past. But once again, I think, you know, a lot of times in life. Things just fall in place because God has a greater plan. And God's greater plan and Allah's greater plan was that for you to come into Islam. So uh, as a Muslim community, we welcome you with open arms. And, um, and as mentioned earlier, you are the purest out of all of us. Um, so because you are absolutely sinless and your sins have been conver converted into good deeds. So we ask you and we ask even um, Brother Jason Khalil to make, you know, supplicate for us, make dua for us. Because your dua, the, the dua and the supplication of a pure person, it hits you know right on bull's eye and it goes straight to God. So you know I you know both of you we ask you to uh, supplicate for us, and as a Muslim community we're always going to be here for you, Sister Farah. I want to thank you so much for showing her the true meaning of sisterhood, and once again we're always here for you, and once again congratulations. Thank you. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Thank you. So assalamu alaikum, jazakum Allah khair to all of our viewers. And once again, keep on making dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Um, our converts who are coming, we have to keep on giving them support inshallah. And once again, to all of our viewers, never underestimate any good action. Any good action can lead a person to Islam. So as you have seen from all these three shahadas, 
two things that come to my mind. Number one is, as a community, we have a certain obligation upon us to look after and to provide support for our convert community. Alhamdulillah, here at Epic, we do have a support system in place. People who have taken the Shahada, they can come here to Epic, and if they need any kind of help, inshallah, even for educational classes, we always have a support system in place. The second thing is for our Muslim community members that please do not ever underestimate any good action. These people, these three people who took a Shahada and so many more people who took Shahada here at Epic, they all have a story. Some place, someone, somehow had an impact on them and this is what led them to Islam. Someone's small actions led them to Islam. So do not ever underestimate any good deed that you can do. It can lead someone to Islam. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to guide many more. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make Epic uh, a place and a means where we can bring many more people uh, to, uh, to Islam. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep us steadfast upon the deen and everyone who converts to Islam. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep them steadfast upon the deen. Jazakumullah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. إن المسلمين والمسلمات والمؤمنين والمؤمنات والقانتين والقانتات والصادقين والصادقات والصابرين والصابرات والخاشعين والخاشعات والخاشعين والخاشعات والمتصدقين والمتصدقات والصائمين والصائمات والحافظين فروجهم والحافظات والذاكرين الله كثيرا والذاكرات أعد الله لهم مغفرة وأجرا عظيما